The Office was easily one of the most watched, most successful sitcoms in recent American history. But just because the mega-hit TV series has come to an end doesn't mean the actors have stopped dominating in their field. See how far The Office cast has come and check out what your favorite TV crew has been up to since the series finale. Steve Carell was the leader of the pack on The Office, and played Michael Scott, the awkwardly obnoxious manager whose corny humor didn't even reach dad joke status. When the series ended in 2013, Steve was cast in a Hollywood film called The Foxcatcher, to which he received high praise as well as an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. This was the beginning of his transition from kitschy comedy TV star to serious, Oscar-worthy Hollywood actor. Since his stint on The Office, Steve has starred in countless Hollywood-level films, including Little Miss Sunshine, Crazy Stupid Love, Steve in Real Life, and The Big Short. He's been married to his wife Nancy Carell for 23 years, that's crazy long in Hollywood time, and is currently taking his film acting career slow to focus on his TV series Angie Trebica, which stars office pal Rashida Jones. Didn't y'all just love Jim? He's easily the fan favorite, and managed to get all of us on the edge of our seats as he wooed Pam throughout the series. When The Office ended, John went full-blown movie star, and was cast in the rom-com The Hollers opposite Anna Kendrick, as well as 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, in 2016. Not only is this guy a polished film actor, he's also a highly talented writer, producer, and director. He directed a few episodes of The Office when it was still on the air, and now he's one of the associate producers of Jimmy Fallon's Lip Sync Battle, as well as Amazon's Jack Ryan, on which he plays the title character. He recently welcomed two little girls into the world, alongside his wife of eight years, Emily Blunt, with whom he's playing opposite against in his new film, The Quiet Place, which he wrote and directed himself. Jenna was totally every girl's girl when she played Jim's love interest, Pam Beasley, on The Office. We love Jenna in this role and also love the fact that we can still see her on the small screen. One year after The Office ended, Jenna got a series of gigs on TV, as well as the occasional film. Anyone remember Walk the Line spoof The Dewey Cox Story? She was also seen in Blades of Glory, The Promotion, and Hall Pass. Our favorite receptionist is currently starring in Ellen DeGeneres produced ABC sitcom Splitting Up Together, where she plays Lena, a mom who's trying to divorce her husband without moving out. Rain managed to fully encapsulate Weirdo Geek in his iconic role as Dwight on The Office. Some would argue that he made the show what it was, others found him just straight-up cringeworthy. One thing's for sure, there's no one quite like Dwight, and you'll be glad to know that this quirky dude hasn't stopped being his one-in-a-million self after his character was put to rest. Rain continued to act on the small screen post-office, and has appeared in multiple TV shows including Backstorm and Roadies. He most recently was heard on the Smurfs movie. But we'll never know! Freeze ball! Voicing Gargamel, and runs the popular self-help YouTube channel Soul Pancake. He currently resides in LA with his son and wife of 23 years, Holiday Reinhorn. Angela Kinsey played Angela, a cold-blooded accountant at Dunder Mifflin who got involved with not one but two Romeos at the office. She was so stoic, wasn't she? We all wish we had the self-respect and poise that Angela did. When The Office ended, Angela Kinsey made her rounds on the TV circuit and snagged roles in shows like New Girl, Bad Judge, Hot in Cleveland, and Netflix series Haters Back Off. Angela had a daughter in 2008 with Office writer and producer Warren Lieberstein, with whom she's now separated from. After spending a few years being single, Angela married actor Joshua Clayton, and now the two lovebirds live in LA with Angela's daughter and Josh's two sons. Not many people know this, but the guy who played sad and disheveled human resources manager Toby wasn't actually hired to do so. Paul Lieberstein started in the writer's room and was actually forced by the producers to play the role even though he didn't want to. It turns out Paul wasn't bitten by the acting bug like so many other of his writer-actor crewmates, because when the show was over, Paul went back to doing what he does best, writing for TV. He joined Aaron Sorkin as a writer on The Newsroom, and even had a stint on office alum Mindy Kaling's sitcom The Mindy Project as a director. Paul continues to write, and is currently the showrunner for Fox's Supernatural show Ghosted. BJ played Ryan Howard on The Office, the temp we love to hate. Like Paul, BJ was actually a last-minute cast, as the producers couldn't find someone to play the wiry mid-twenties temp. So much like other writers on the show, they plucked BJ from the writer's room and put him in the actor's arena with the rest of the cast. Since The Office wrapped in 2013, BJ's been hard at work, putting his hand in as many avenues as possible from feature films to book deals. He ended up joining Paul Lieberstein as a co-producer on The Newsroom, and also enjoyed many TV and film roles right out of the gate. He can be seen in movies like The Founder and Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. 
Bastards, as well as TV shows like CW's Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and Office co-star Mindy Kaling's The Mindy Project playing Jamie, Mindy's love interest. BJ is also an accomplished author and penned the book One More Thing, Stories and Other Stories, as well as a children's book called The Book with No Pictures. Fans of the show always noted that BJ and Mindy's on-screen relationship was eerily similar to the relationship rumors that swirled around them during their time on The Office, as well as their convos on Twitter. Despite the rumors, the two have confirmed several times over that they're just friends. In fact, BJ and Mindy are currently collaborating on a book that will outline the weird as hell relationship and finally put these rumors to rest. Mindy played Muttermouth customer service rep Kelly Kapoor on The Office. She was also originally hired as a writer, but was then given the opportunity to play a side character in The Office. As both a writer and an actor on the show, it really hurt when Mindy had to part ways with the series in 2012 to pursue her own venture, The Mindy Project. It ended up being the right move because nowadays everyone knows who Mindy Kaling is. The Mindy Project went strong for several years, thanks to Hulu picking it up and producing seasons up until 2017. During that time, Mindy lent her voice to Pixar's Inside Out, which led to other film opportunities. You can see her in action flick Ocean's 8 and Disney's A Wrinkle in Time. Mindy also recently decided to take a cue from her character on The Mindy Project and embark on the journey of single motherhood. Mindy is now a proud single mom to baby girl Catherine, born in December of 2017. Leslie played deadweight customer service rep Stanley Hudson on The Office. He was the guy who just hated his job and we loved every minute of it. Since the end of The Office, Leslie has enjoyed many a TV appearance. He appeared in Still the King not long after The Office wrapped, and continued to be cast on various TV shows including Life in Pieces and Key and Peele. Leslie has most recently snagged a role in Melissa McCarthy blockbuster film The Happy Time Murders opposite Elizabeth Banks and Maya Rudolph. Stanley's naysaying partner in crime, Phyllis Lappin, had this strange sort of zen about her. She made the best of her job at Dunder Mifflin, and we all had a bit of a soft spot for her. You might be surprised to know that Phyllis actually started out as a casting associate on the show, and was recruited by the producers to play the homely saleswoman on the show, making her gig on The Office her first major acting job. Two years after the show wrapped, Phyllis landed a voiceover role on Inside Out, playing Sadness, and can now be seen on Netflix series The OA. For someone who started out on the other side of the table, Phyllis is doing pretty damn good. Creed Bratton played Creed Bratton, the weirdo sales rep in the office who keeps a knife in his desk at all times. Creed, the real Creed, started out as a musician and just recently went on tour, promoting his seventh solo album. He also had guest appearances on TV shows like Adventure Time, Grace and Frankie, and Band of Robbers. Oscar played Oscar, uptight accountant at Dunder Mifflin. You seeing a trend here with the names? When the show came to an end, Nunez was recruited to appear in TV shows like Life in Pieces, Benched, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I Zombie. He also had a notable role in 2017's Baywatch, where he played a councilman. Oscar can now be seen as Father Doug on quirky TBS sitcom People of Earth, and currently resides in LA with his wife Ursula Whitaker and his five-year-old daughter. Ed played Cornell grad cum paper salesman on The Office, winning all of us over with his idealistic views and his undying love for Angela, the icy payroll clerk. Ed landed a huge Hollywood role before The Office even ended, and was cast in The Hangover opposite comedy giant Zach Galifianakis and silver screen golden boy Bradley Cooper. That role proved to be a good omen, because once The Office ended in 2013, Ed appeared in multiple feature films, including Vacation, Love the Coopers, The Clapper, and Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. You can see him this summer opposite John Hamm in Tag, a movie based on a 20 three-year-long game of tag. Kevin seemed like he was out to lunch most of the time, sometimes literally, but we couldn't help but laugh over his one-liners and endearing absent-mindedness. After his time on The Office, Brian landed roles on several different TV shows, including Hot in Cleveland, Melissa and Joey, Chicago Fire, Screen Queens, and Life in Pieces. He married the love of his life Celeste Ackleson in 2014 and welcomed a baby girl into the world just one year later. Mom Gone Wild Meredith Palmer was one of the strangest workers in the office. She was the snide straight talker we all wished we could be at our own jobs. Since the show wrapped, Kate has been featured in several different TV shows and movies, including Brooklyn Nine-Nine, American Housewife, New Girl, Mary and Jane, and Steven Universe. You can see her now on Hulu's series All Night, where she plays an uptight school principal.
Craig played Daryl, a snarky warehouse worker who always had an in for Michael. Upon the end of The Office, Craig left onto the big screen to star in movies like This Is The End, Hot Tub Time Machine 2, and Sausage Party. He even snagged some cameo appearances on TV shows like Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Real Husbands of Hollywood. As a member of Rogan and Franco's comedian army, he'll be appearing in the upcoming Franco-directed film Zeroville, and probably every Rogan Franco collaboration in perpetuity. We all know her now as Kimmy Schmidt, but before Tina Fey plucked this girl up, she played Erin, the fresh-faced, innocent receptionist at Dunder Mifflin. Before she was even cast on The Office, Ellie started out in the trenches, and like many of her Office co-stars, interned on The Conan O'Brien Show. She was an avid writer, eventually landing articles on The Onion, but her love for acting was still going strong. She was rejected from Saturday Night Live before eventually getting cast on The Office, initially hired as a four-episode guest, which eventually turned into a full-time gig. Since the show ended, Ellie's been busy at work, fueling her career with lots of juicy roles and appearances. She was the first person to guest host The Ellen Show, was a standout in blockbuster hit Bridesmaids, and even had the role of Kimmy Schmidt created for her by Tina Fey. The unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt has become one of the most popular shows on TV, and it's all because of Ellie's breakout role in The Office. So there you have it. You're all up to date on the latest happenings of The Office cast. Now go stream the reruns on Netflix.